Scotch for Dummies are going to give you a two for this week. Yep. We are going to be reviewing the Famous Grouse and the Famous Grouse Smoky Black. Both 40% ABV. We haven't even touched on them yet. Smoky! Let's get to this. Smoky! Did you really just do that? <laughs> I couldn't help. Smokey's back here taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Hey guys, guys it is Scotch for Dummies. Four guys on a Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. And we couldn't decide, so we bought two. You know what? If you live in <laughs> Scotland, it's probably this. And, and the beauty is, you can afford two because it's, yes. it's not that Absolutely. expensive. Absolutely. <laughs> Andrew, what did we get? So we got the famous grouse, and we've been at this for five years. And we've never had the <laughs> most popular whiskey in Scotland. Shut up. The second most popular whiskey in the UK. Dummies. They sell two <laughs> million <laughs> cases of this worldwide. And we just get into it. Well, you know. So, we just found it. So <laughs> what we have, We're not famous. What so. we have is the Famous Grouse and the Famous Grouse Smoky Black. These are the two from the core line from the Famous Grouse. And what do we know about the, the Famous the, Grouse? The more you learn about Famous Grouse, it's really an amazing company. So they're part of the Edmonton Group. So they are... Um, Who else is know, part of that group? Every, every, all the big names. McAllen. Of course, and the reason you know Pine that Park, is because Park. Famous Grouse is really clear about what's in there. There, it is a blend. It's a blended Scotch whiskey, perfectly fine. Which means there's some grain in it. Yes, and so they have they they list their grains from uh, North British, Strathclyde, and Girvan for uh, um, potentially amongst others, but these are the, the ones they give you. Um, and then their malts are Glen Turret, Highland Park, Macallan, Glenrothes. So they, I mean, they're pulling from their their premium lineup to make this material. And Seems okay to me. Now, good, good ingredients, good name ingredients. Well, and the thing yep. is with the smoky grouse, they add some of the, the Ruad Mar, which is actually a peated Glen Turret. Okay. They give it that extra little bit of smoky, peaty flavor. Um, but the thing about this that is always interesting to me as a manufacturing guy is the scale of this. You know, you're making two million cases a year of this stuff. So that's what, 12, what is it, 24 million bottles? Yep. They're one batch of this famous grouse. So what they what they do is they take all these grains and, they, and especially they take the malts and they vat them together for like 21 days to let kind of some of the okay. and then bring, an and they, bring, they bring the water content down a little bit to help settle out some of the um, some of the proteins and then they then they vat it again with the grains. But each vatting is about a thousand casks. So there's about 240 casks of malt and 760 casks of the grain that goes with this. So it's. Wow. A massive batch. So, so about twenty-five percent of this is malt. single is malt, yes. and seventy-five percent is yes, grain. That's what. That's Both forty percent ABVs. Forty percent ABV. Um, there was you know, something that you were talking filter, about the color, chill filtering, yeah. though. That they're done. The chill filtering is at a warmer temperature. Yeah, because they they vat those malts together, they're able to um, remove some of those some of the uh, partic particulates that cloud the, the whiskey, they're able to pull those out in that vatting process so they don't have to chill filter it, it's cold. Now, depending on who you talk to, the chill filter is purely a cosmetic thing. It doesn't affect it too much, but they, they do a fairly bit warmer. Um, uh, it's uh, got the royal seal, so they've... <laughs> they did, they've got they've a royal got... seal on it. Um, they've been distilling or bottling since 1896. So it's, and it's an old name. You made a comment before we went on camera that the person that was in charge of yeah. blending has now been promoted. So, so Kirsten Campbell is was in charge of the, the was a master blender for this for for years. I think it was since 2016, give or take. But she just got promoted in um, in October of last year yeah. to master whiskey maker at the Macallan. You know, like the top whiskey maker. Wow. And so never heard of it. You know, yeah. the, 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 the weird thing is, though, that I've not seen a, any notification of who's replaced her at Famous Grouse. Famous Grouse. Now, is it you? Now, granted, no. Uh, now, granted, <laughs> when, you're, when you're marrying a thousand casks, you've got lots of blenders in there helping with that because sure. every cask is tasted, and they got to do all that blending together. So, it's a pretty interesting process. Their 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 um, their process for maintain, maintaining consistency is really. Pretty advanced, and that's probably why it's Very so weird shape at the top of that bottle. I just recognized that. You see that? Yeah, it's like a saddle or something. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, what's so what are we doing here? We've got two. What's the difference between the two? There's a minor difference, obviously, okay. other than the name. The, the, the smoky. They put a little more peat in. Maybe right. a little more so, Park, maybe. Maybe a little more of that red right, more. Yeah. Um, yep. You said for a seven fifty, about $25. Yeah, give, give or take. $20 yeah. for this one. Yep. 
give or take. So you can grab both these bottles for under 50 bucks and do this at home. Yep. yep. And we hope you do. And we do. So I assume do. we start with the... <clears throat> yeah. Which one's which? So this is the okay. famous grouse. So we're going to start with that one. We're going to do our normal uh, sniff, talk about it, put a little water on it. We're going to try and do it a little Speed bit faster, faster than normal just because we've got two to go through. But we still want to give them both a, a good fair shake. But since we had them both, we figured we would give you guys uh, a twofer. And for so once. while we do that, make sure you click the subscribe button. Click like, hmm. uh, notification, all notifications, so you get these as well as our lives. It's it's, uh, it's got a sweet nose to it. It's got more of a nose to it than I'm used to with a blended, blended. scotch. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say it's kind of light still. I'm gonna have to it is light. Have you definitely smell the grain it, in but, there. But, oh yeah. I mean, you, if you, you think about some other in. entry level, you don't get nearly the nose. at this price range. Yeah. You don't get a nose like that, and you you definitely don't get sweet smells on the uh yeah there's a hint of like uh mm, nail polish maybe yeah there's a little bit of uh, i'm getting a little bit of that new make kind of acetone almost it's a little more peppery than i thought it was going to be <clears throat> what else are you guys getting on the nose so i got honey. light yeah it, it was it wasn't a whole lot no it, it was a honey floral airy nose it's, I, yeah. I would have described it as a Highland Scotch nose, yeah. um, not not overly, um, you know, deep, but very sweet and very floral, mm -hmm. is how I would have described it. Are they both forty? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's it's almost like kind of watered down already too. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest. Second, I had, second sip's better. I get a little take, bit take of alcohol little, because it's forty percent. Forty. Yeah, I think it's strong on the nose. For take a take. You can take a big sip of this because. Yep and let it roll over your palate better. I, I get, there's some nice honey malt notes up front. It rolls in around the mid palate. I start to get that grain influence. Yeah. And to me, this particular grain actually does have a sweeter um, note to it. Mm -hmm. um, some of them can be very like acetone -y yeah. or or just like very medicinal as far as like like rubbing alcohol almost. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't doesn't have that. And then it rolls back into like some nice peppery clove notes on the finish. Nothing overly complex, nothing, you know, uh, crazy about it, but yeah. it seems very nice. well balanced and very easy to drink. Like I can see why people would sit down in a pub and order this and Oh yeah, I could, you know. Yeah, I could drink this all day. Um, the beauty is it's not, you know, there's not any really strong flavors. It's a good you know, sit down, hang out with your buddy's whiskey. You know, again, you don't care about the price. You can mix it, you can blend it. I, sh I assume this would, this would be okay with ice. I mean, I, I'm not getting a lot of alcohol. I don't know if, you, if that's what you're getting. You know, at 40%, it's not, and, and it's aged enough for blended right, so you don't get any of that alcohol heat to, off it. To me, this has enough malt and good malt character that you could drink it neat or with a little bit of water. You could put this in a cocktail and it's gonna stand up with the ingredients and not just be, you know, like a vodka and, and just wash itself out. It's got some flavor components to it. Um, I mean, it's, it's I good. think the water's not bad. Malt out. I do too, yeah, I think it's better with water actually. I, well, I haven't had it with water yet, but I, I've got a pretty long bitter finish too right now. Bitter? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Neat, it left my tongue very dry. Peppery. Very, it was very, much more spicier than I thought it was gonna be. But I mean, it honestly left my, my tongue very dry. Water helps the nose. Oh, absolutely. I get some green apple now. Lemon. Mm. I didn't have lemon. Um, there's a little bit of citrus in there. Um, again, not an overly complicated scotch, but I, I think I think well balanced. It really holds the water better than I would have expected. Yeah, at forty percent, I was expecting it to completely wash away. Nope. It's it's a lot more full bodied than I would have anticipated. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess for the price point, I came in with low expectations. Yeah. You know, having had several other malts in that, you know, blended blended malt or blended scotches in that category, in that price category that didn't really do it for me. And this it, one's not bad. No. That's because this is designed for Scottish people and not Americans. <laughs> okay. So you, you got to have better, better core. Hmm. They, they know their whiskey. Right. Americans, maybe not so much. Hmm. What? I don't know about that. You don't believe that? I don't know about all that. I you, uh, pretty you guys good want wish. to go around the horn and yeah. do this sure. and then move on to the smoky? Yeah. Smoke all right, that's fine. Does anybody got a number? 
Do you want me to get it? I don't, I don't have a number. I've got some words to say, but I don't have a number. Do we want to go do both? No, no, I'll see no let's, one let's one do one of okay, so the next. All right. Uh, so like I said, I, I think I had l low expectations or reserved expectations coming into this just because of the price point. It's an entry level. It's a blended scotch. Um, generally, I'm not a huge fan of blended scotches for the most part, um, especially on a lower end price point, just because generally it's a lot more grain. You get a lot of, like, sometimes the flavor profiles don't match up very well. You get some bitter off taste or it's just kind of unbalanced. This to me is, is a really nice example of a blended scotch. They, they took their time. I think the ingredients that they put in here were, were fairly quality. They come from good distilleries. Um, I, I think that the product that they were going for um, in this price point, I can see why it's very popular. I can see why they sell, you know, 20 million bottles a year. You, you know, you can make a cocktail with this. You can enjoy it neat. You know, you can put an ice cube on it or a couple of drops of water. I think it holds up really nice to all of that stuff. Um, and honestly, if somebody sat down at the bar and, and was wanting us to try them out on a scotch, this may be something that I would pour for them to give them an example of a decent blended scotch yep. that would be in their price point that they could go to the, to the store and buy. Um, so not embarrassed to pour that at all. I'm going to give it a 2.5. I mean, it's not overly complicated. It's not, you know, anything that I'm going to, you know, rush out and be like, you have to try this. But I think that it's very well done. It's very well balanced. I'm enjoying this glass. I'm definitely going to finish it. Yep. All right, so neat. Uh, I'm going to say I came in south of two, neat, right? It wasn't really hitting spot for me. Um, nose was okay, neat. The palate and the finish were definitely a lot more spicier than I expected it to be, especially at 40%. Um, put some drops of water on it, and I really think that it shined. I think the water brought the maltiness out. Um, there was still a little bit of floral characteristic on the nose, but it was a sweeter floral. You could smell some malt in there. Give it a little time on the palate, and now I'm getting that bitterness. And it's almost a dark chocolate bitterness on the finish. Um, so I'm sitting here in my mind trying to come up with a number, and I'm thinking, what am I comparing this to? Am I comparing this to Cuddy Sark, JB? Am I comparing this to Johnny Walker's? Um, uh, maybe some uh, Monkey Shoulder, right? Same and I'm price trying point. to think. Yep. Yeah, same price point, maybe even a little bit cheaper than it Monkey is, Shoulder. Yeah. And so where does it come in in my mind in those things, right? And I honestly think. With a few drops of water, I think it does stand up with it. It is in the same conversation as a monkey shoulder when it comes to a blend. Um, I think it's better than the JBs and Cuddy Sarks uh, sure. of the world. Maybe the older ones might be able to give it a fight, you know, the 80s blends, but I'm above the two now. So now I'm stuck between the two and the two five. And I gotta <laughs> tell you, I mean, honestly, I, the, the longer it sat with the water, the more I enjoyed it. And I, that's not my style with a 40% ABV. So right. I'm kind of impressed with that. And especially at 20 bucks. Um, gosh, someone told us uh, last week that we should uh, change our scales to the quarter so I can nope. give it a 2.25, but they're not going to well, let me do it. No, nope. no. So Pick. I'm, I'm going I'm to give it a 2.5. I'm going to give it a 2.5. I think it deserves it. man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Because that's but, the definition of a man. You, you American it whiskey lover. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with what the water did to it. It's much more enjoyable, and uh, I would recommend doing it. If you're going to give it to somebody that, that you're just pouring for the first time in scotch, put a couple drops on it, and I think they're going to really enjoy it. Yep. Yes and yes. Um, a couple things I'll say. I poured more water into it, and the flavor held out. The nose kind of falls away with enough water, but the, the flavor palette held up really well. I'm surprised at that. It's, it's like this is perfectly designed to be blended. It's perfectly designed to be diluted, and it still holds the flavor. So I'm going to go with the 2.5 on it as well. You know, I, you debate, do you go higher? Because it's only 20, 25 bucks, which is a huge deal for this kind of whiskey. Definitely a good intro for others because this is definitely not bourbon. This is definitely not Tennessee whiskey. This is, a, this is uniquely scotch. The, the kind of the blend they put in here is uniquely scotch. Good example. Okay, I well, I'm giving it a one. I'm gonna give it less than a two at this point. Um, I'm not agreeing with you guys. I don't. I think it's in the same playing field as Monkey Shoulder for price, but Monkey Shoulder, hands down, I think has more flavor, more wood. This is missing wood for me that I'm not getting. Yeah, I'm not um, sure that it's it's more what? of a. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Um, it's, <laughs> it's more of just kind of a, a casual drink if you want. I mean, yes, it, is, it's a it does drink. it does have. 
I guess to your point, the expectation was pretty low for me. Mm -hmm. So it, it did kind of reach my expectation a little bit more, but that's about it. The bitterness is really throwing me off. Uh, I will agree with you, all of you guys, saying that the water definitely improved it. Um, I had definitely more sweet on the nose than before. Um, I had some lemongrass, even some sponge in the nose with some water yeah. on it. Um, and then a little bit more of a, of a maltier taste than on the finish. But other than that, it's not really doing much for me. So okay. I personally am not that happy with it. I'm going to give it a 1.5. Um, well, to you, to you, I'd go 1.75 because of the price, nope. but I'm not going to. So I'm can't do one it. Man, man up. <laughs> man up. <laughs> All right. Great. He man down. He man down. So, so what does that get us to? 2.1 something. 2.1. So let's go around the horn. You did what? 2.5? 2.5? 2.5. 1.5. Okay. All right. There you go. All right. So there's the famous grouse. Now let's hit the The one of these things is not like the others. Smoke guy. Smoke guy. Let's go. All right. So smoky black. Got some peat in it. Is there oh, actually a black grouse somewhere, or did they? Is that all marketing? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's a question we're going to answer. I like this. I like to call this nose. notorious <laughs> pigeon. I think this has got wow. more granny apple in it. I... Boy, that it's, the nose is not so heavily peat, heavily peated. No, but it's it's definitely a different nose no, than the other. Oh, that's got flavor to it. <laughs> yeah, this this has more of a new make. Admittedly, nose to it than this does. Now, admittedly, so this is five dollars more a bottle. <laughs> True enough. So maybe they True put enough. that five dollars. It's got nose. like a grapefruit. Oh wow! Oh, maybe they put it in the darker glass. Boy, this reminds me a lot of Johnny Black. Holy cow! The palate. Oh my gosh. Really? Grapefruit, honey. And maybe um, what they're going walnut. for because they're both blended scotches. But wow. But it's sweeter. Yes, it has a sweeter, less less. It's sweet. got a. It's an interesting profile because it's got layers of sweet with layers of, of smoke. It reminds me of like like burnt marshmallow. You know what I mean? How it's like sweet, but it's also got that carbony kind of quality to it. And that's what I think of when I take a sip of this. Huh. Hmm. It's like barely there though. Like just... Yeah, it doesn't have the same mm -hmm. punch as the Johnny Walker Black as far as smoke. It is a sweeter, more subtle... But it's a deeper smoke, I think. It's almost it, it does. Yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. Like kind of like that blackened char, but not. But not. You're not getting the overall flavor. Just like a. Take a second sip. Yeah. <laughs> you said, come yeah, on you back. Get, you get a, you get. It's more an a uh, accumulated okay. flavor. It is. Than it is a like that first sip. You're like, okay, I get the sweet, but there's a little bit of something. And then you take the second sip, and you're like, oh, there oh, it is. okay. Hello. But the weird thing so about this... So the first this, part doesn't go away, I just add to it. <laughs> so so a lot of the peated single malts you get, though, I'm you know, you, it it starts sweet, it rolls into smoke, and then it holds that smoke for a long time. The smoky finish on this isn't as long as I would have expected. No. Which is which is interesting. I'm not sure why that would kind of fade out. It's still pre-tame. I mean... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it, is not, it is not a Laphroaig. It is not a Lager they're, they're similar in that aspect of the kind of the, the profile of that... Tame, the, they're not, not jumping out. No. They're not reaching. This they have right. the same bitterness finish, but this one has a little bit more of a. I don't want to say smoky. You know, it says it's smoky. It's not really smoky to me. It's more of that charring, or and it's not even hardly there. It's like I'm reaching for it right now to try and say it's charring. Mm. I don't. I don't know what that is. I think it's there. It's I, close I, I get it. I get it. Hmm? I, you're like, I'm you're fascinated by the sweet aspect of this. It is very sweet. It's. So when I went into this, I'm thinking grain whiskeys predominantly, yep. you know, 75, 80% grain. Then you're talking about adding some malt, part of that malt being a, a peated malt of some kind. And so it's going to impart, like you're not putting a ton of peated malt in there, so it's going to impart a small percentage of the flavor well, uh, well, profile. Yeah, so keep in mind what they do is they take a peated Glen Turret and they add it. Right. So it's not, it's, they don't blend the malt. Well, I mean, I guess they bl yeah, blended malt whiskey. I was, I was thinking they, they take like 80% uh, smoked a grain and 20 or whatever. So they, they would take the, at the grain perspective, at the, the malt, the malted barley perspective. But it's a, they make a peated whiskey and they add it to this other stuff right. to, to balance it. So, I mean, the it's malt. a small percentage of that. So it I is. wouldn't expect there to be a whole right. big amount of smoke in there. But I'm fascinated by the sweetness of it. Because the sweet is is very prominent yep. to me in this, and it's it's good. Um, I, I'm 
I'm pleasantly surprised and kind of glad I have a bigger bottle of this, to be honest with you. Ah, uh, <clears throat> wow. Interesting, really. Uh, this the way, would be a great... The, so, I found that the water did the same thing to the nose as it did to the regular famous grouse. I think the water brought a little more maltiness out on the nose. But Which I gotta tell you, makes sense. I think the water brought out a little more smoke punch to it too. Really? I do. I mean, I, that was a very bold first sip after I put water on it. You know what? It's funny because putting the water on it, I, I get a lot of the same on the nose that I did with the famous grouse. So it's obvious that there's a very close similarity between the two. Like I got your lemongrass now. Really? Um, yeah. And, and it's actually got a little bit of a punch with it. It completely lost the smoke for me. Yeah. Really? I, I, I'm the opposite way. It's, it's like, it killed, maybe I had too much water. I mean, I feel like I still have. You didn't add too much water. I don't think I did, but it, no. but it tastes like I did. I'll tell you what. That's I, exactly right. So it, it tastes like that now. It does. It, it has a little bit well, more. Well, you got that glass. Well, tell me. It tastes, it, well, it tastes like neat, that. <laughs> I, I still get a little bit of the smoke, but it's, Boy, it's that, kind of incorporated in. Better. But I get the sweet. Well, I like this, this one. one. I like the no. smoky black better than neat. I liked the famous grouse better with water. Yeah, but I was okay with it I neat. Totally agree but it was that. better with water. But this, I think, was was really nice neat. Man, I gotta. I probably should taste that the regular famous grouse again because this, it's like I added not that much water to it and it's not smoky anymore. I don't feel like there's a huge difference between the two, to be honest. There's not, and, and I'm sure they admit to that. I mean, they've got. They, uh, so Famous Grouse has other casks. They've got some wine cask and some um, ruby cask made with port, but invariably their core is this, and then they enhance it to make that. So it's like it's like Glen Glenmorangie. Well, they have their original going back, and then they boy. But it's like you said that it's like this is their vat, and they pour something else in there just to kind of mix it up yep. a little bit. Yeah, and that's what they're calling it smoky well, grouse. I mean. This is a good recipe. Why why mess with it? You know yeah, what I mean? What? They're just altering it a little bit to give it a little bit Every of a Every time I put character. this down, this watered down smoky black, and I come back to it after it's been sitting on my nose is reset. First it reminds me of a Highland Park twelve. Really? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yep. Well there's mm. so many. Let there, me smell yours, let me smell mine. <laughs> yeah. So I would say that, you know, I've got both of these together. This is a little the famous grouse is a little bit more diluted than the Maybe. smoky black. <laughs> But I think the smoky black has a deeper flavor profile. Yes. But I lose a lot of the smoke when I add the water. Keep going. So I think the, I think the, the rest of it is deeper. So yeah, I'll go ahead and, and start with this. I would actually. So if you're looking for a peated whiskey, I don't think the smoky black is as good a representation of that. But I think the flavor is deeper and broader than famous grouse in general. So the question is, can I give it a Lower score or higher score than the famous grouse? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a lower score because I, if, if I'm buying the Smoky Black, I want a Smoky Whiskey. And it doesn't have the the endurance of the smoke that I like. What about a beginner smoker? Like, <laughs> how do you want to say that? Somebody's, somebody's kind of getting used to what's, what's peace. They're used to sweet whiskeys and they're yeah. trying something. I, I think it's probably great for that because it's just it's just the hint in there. And if it's too smoky, add a little water, it disappears. And well, if you don't like it, it's 20 bucks and you can pour it out. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So right. I, I, I think. But then black is. And so I'm going to give this, I'm going to give the smoky a two and the, the famous a two five because the famous grouse original holds its water better. And actually, it's better with with water. The famous, it diminishes it dramatically. Even though, even though in general, if I were to water these the same, I think I would prefer the flavor of the smoky. It. So you're saying yeah. water is a big difference for you here? Yeah, wa yeah, water, and that's that's a good point. Water is a bigger change in this. It's, hmm. So I'm gonna, man, that's tough though, because you know, as I was saying that, I'm like. Well, I like this one better, so I'll give it a lower score. That doesn't make much sense. Can we come back to you while we'll you do back. math? Yeah. Well, so let, let me say this much. Common core stuff. Uh, I, I, I feel about, about the same for both these bottles. I, I feel like the uh, <laughs> the black here, smoky black, correct, mm -hmm. um, is basically just a dirtier version of the smoky of this one right here. Um, yeah. It doesn't really give me a whole lot of difference between the two. That's I think right. I think this a, a little bit more, for lack of better words, muddy because it doesn't give me like a, a specific flavor of smoke or anything else. It's just something undertowing on underlying going. What what is something kind of dirty there? I'm not sure what it is. It, but it's not like to me personally. It's not 
super pleasant. Um, so, I'm, and it still has that same bitterness I'm looking, that I was getting. However, I will say with water, this one killed it. Neat was much better, but with the first one, I also agree with you. This definitely had neat? better with water because it was, it was sweeter than what I had. So, um, I think I give this one a one five. I'm also going to give this one a one five because they're all equally about the same to me. Neither one of them are, are that great. How I guess I would say if you if you asked me which one would I would rather have, that one. Really? Yeah. For those of you watching in Scotland, Drew will be there next uh, June. You can feel free to beat him <laughs> senseless. Uh, <laughs> All right, so it's me, right? Uh, so we got two one fives, and you're figuring out your math. A two and a, I'm, I, yeah. You Take your time. Going. Take your time. <laughs> okay. We're gonna come back to Andrew. The calculations. Math is hard. All right. The famous grouse, smoky black. Um, this one was interesting to me. I liked, I liked neat, but I kind of agree with Drew a little bit in that. I think that the smoke, I personally think that the smoke is there. Uh, it's not a strong smoke. It's not like like Johnny Walker Black to me has a, has a, right. a bigger, smokier profile. Yeah. This one's a little more subtle, but it's, I think it's definitely there. Um, I don't know that it's entirely married to the flavor profile because yep. it's, it's a little bit disjointed in the fact that you've got this smoke layer and then you've got this really nice sweet layer and it's, it's good but it's not totally meshed together I yeah. guess in, 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 in a way. Um, with water I think that that's why water killed it so hard is that you've got the smoke hanging out and the water kind of takes the smoke away and then it's, it's not quite as good as the original in that regard. But I really like it neat. Um, I think that it's good. So I'm actually going to give this the same score that I gave the Famous Grouse original. I'm going to give it a 2.5. Uh, I think that it's a nice bottle. I think it's a good entry level if you're just starting out on... It's kind of like, you know, smoke and peat on training wheels, right? <laughs> like, it's not going to be offensive yep. if, if you're just trying it. Um, I think that it's light enough that you'll be able to handle it and kind of see if you like that kind of stuff or not. Um, and for people that drink it all the time, uh, to me, this is one that, like, if you're traveling, or you yes, know, if you sure. if you've gone into a bar that doesn't have a really good selection, but they have one of these, like, Definitely, I wouldn't be, yeah. I wouldn't have a problem ordering one of those. Which one would you um, pick here? If I had the two on the bar, again, I think it depends on my mood, just like any other scotch, okay. you know. But I wouldn't be afraid to order either one. Okay, um, yeah. I equally think, fair for you. you. You know what I mean? Like, if I had, if I was eating sweet stuff, I would probably get this, although. Smoke pairs up nicely with sweet stuff, yeah. too. Come back to me on what I would pair up for that. How about that? Yeah. Uh, but I, I think that they're both decent decent okay. scotches. And for the money, why not? Sure. All right. Well, you got it. I really liked it. <clears throat> I liked it better with water. Um, it was so-so with with, uh, with neat. With water, I, I definitely get a smoke profile in it. It's, no, it's not some you know punch-in-the-nose smoke profile, but it's there. It's light. It's underneath it all. It is sweet. And I enjoy it. If I have to just give a quick score, because we've taken too long, I was at a 2.25 on this and rounded up to a 5. I'm at a 2.75 on that, and I'll round down to a 2.5. How's that? Um, Whatever. Uh, that's five. totally what cheating. What the hell is that? you got to pick a number. <laughs> pick a number. I did. 2.5. Two, 2.5 five. Two five for both. Fine. Right. But I'm just saying I actually like this one better. Oh now, <laughs> totally is, cheated. If, if you're going to say, what, when are you going to put it in? You know what? I'm going to fill my flask up with that, and I'm going to take it out to the golf course, because I don't care. I'm going to get schnock in the golf course and shank it in the woods anyway. I'm not feeling bad if I lose a little whiskey. <laughs> you know yes. what? It's on my hip yes. pocket while I'm fly fishing. Yes. Oh, I spilled a little bit. That's okay. It's 20 bucks a bottle. I'm still going, right? I mean, I honestly think it's really good with that little splash of water on it. Um, it's different than a Johnny Walker Black. It's a little bit lighter on the smoke, of course, but it's... I like the sweetness to it. Um, it's approachable. So two fives. Yes. Both. And what did you final, finalize with? Come on, we're on a time. Should, we, should we come back to you? No, I'm going to go with <laughs> a two on that because if I want, if I'm buying a smoky whiskey, I want something that's got some durability, and it just doesn't have the durability if you add any water to it. All right. So, Fair enough. Yep. So you did two five two. Mm, I did. And I did one now. five for both. Chocolate. You did. Two, I did two five for both. And you did two five for both. Yeah. All right. Do the math. Whatever it two is. Two five light. Two five. We'll let you know. There it is. All right, guys. Join us on Thursday what? when we'll be discussing both of these. The famous grouse. And maybe a little comparison of some stuff. We might pull in a couple other blinds. That's right. We got to get Monkey Shoulder in there, and we got to get Johnny Walker Black in there. We'll do that live. Black. Boom. Cheers to that. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We'll see you guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers.